Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we will be opening my Christmas presents and also a quick thing on warm clothing that was suggested by one of my subscribers if I had any tips or recommendations, which I do. But before we get started, please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share, and let me know if there's anything in particular that you want to see. So I had opened one of my Christmas presents on camera already. It was the jewelry and the Baby Yoda charm. And then I remember I did a Christmas stocking stuffer video of a lot of the chapsticks from Target. And then this is the last Christmas present video and it's obviously late, but um, I already know what it is. Well, at least some of it um, because it came from my wish list. So, um, Let's go ahead and do the warm clothing recommendation and then some of the packages that I have to own or open are winter clothing, which is why I combined these videos. Okay, so for warm winter clothing, I am very much a fan of the Japanese company called Uniqlo, which is sold in the US in stores and online. So if you don't live near Uniqlo's store, you can definitely go online and um, I had to go to Japan in the winter. I normally don't go in the winter, but a few years ago when I did, I went to the Uniqlo stores and I bought, I would say about seven or 10 items and they have a great line that's called Heat Tech, which this is my favorite shirt from them. I love this lilac lavender purple color. So heat tech is some great technology that they have where it keeps you warm, even though it's not like super thick and like you feel all over bundled with clothes, which is what I don't like about winter. So definitely get their heat tech technology items. I got this in various different colors. I got it in like a burnt orange. I got it in black. I got it in white. And then I also got like the short sleeve version. And then I think they even do like pants or long johns or like socks. So they definitely have a whole line of heat tech Uniqlo stuff. And then this is the little label. Um, I'll just spell it for you. Uniqlo is spelled U-I-N-Q-L-O. So get Uniqlo or in Japanese Unikuro. Okay, so they have the shirts and the pants and the socks, but then they also have outerwear. So this is their vest. And it's very lightweight, it's very small. It came with a little bag that looks like a mini umbrella because if you roll it, sorry, I'm not rolling it very nicely here. Let's re-roll it. If you fold it and you roll it, it's really only like maybe four inches long and like two or maybe two inches wide. So, sorry, you know what? I have gloves in these pockets, which is why it's not rolling correctly. But it really ends up, you know, maybe being about this wide and then this long by the time you fold it and put it in the little carry-on bag. You don't even need the bag. I threw the bag away. So I definitely like the vest because it keeps your core warm, but then you don't sweat because your armpits aren't covered. And... There will be a lot of these like fluffy, thin jackets or vests, but the key is you have to get one that's filled with down, like actual goose down feathers. Don't get anything that's filled with like polyester filling or some sort of 
fake stuff because it doesn't work. It's the goose down that actually keeps you warm. So I recommend Uniqlo's like these down filled jackets or vests and make sure it's actual down. Okay, so that's the suggestion. Let's go ahead and open some of my packages. Okay, so I got clothing. That's definitely what I know I asked for my wish list. And then the other stuff is who knows? Okay, so this I requested from Etsy and it's a t-shirt from one of my favorite shows. So, I picked it because I thought it was cool and it was free shipping. And it's a men's shirt, but I think it should fit me. There's a little receipt card in here. Oh, that's so nice. Okay. So, this is a men's small. I don't know if you recognize this TV show and who these people are. If you don't, yeah, this should definitely fit me. If you don't, this is the sitcom from CBS, The Big Bang Theory. It was about physics and science and space and astronomy and dating and love and these are their main characters, the men, um, Sheldon Cooper, Leonard Hofstetter, Wallowitz, and Raj. So this show was based in Pasadena, California because they all worked at Caltech and it was actually taped um, somewhere in the valley, I think Burbank or Universal City, I forget which place but okay so that's the first item how do I fold it back okay like this okay and then I asked for clothing from Target so let's open this I forgot, yeah, I ordered four things. I'm looking at the receipt and I only saw three, but it's because on the back. Okay, so, can you guess what this is? It's Baby Yoda! Okay. So this is the first Baby Yoda clothing item that I own. Ooh, it's very warm on the inside, but then it's also very soft on both the inside and the outside. I'm excited about this. I was already excited because of Baby Yoda, but this feels amazing. It feels like cashmere. It's not, but it's very soft so I got this in a small it looks kind of big no maybe it's fine okay so it's baby Yoda there's nothing on the back so cute he looks a little sad but that's okay okay so that's baby Yoda and then I got a t-shirt. So if you're a fan of this TV show, you already know what this is. If you're not, let's open it. Okay. So I got this in a small and, oh, this should definitely fit. Okay, it says Princess Consuela Banana Hammock and it's from Friends. If you've never seen the show, 
this is one of the very later episodes in like season nine or season 10 where Phoebe, the blonde haired girl who's very quirky and very like new agey and works in like massage and aromatherapy oils, has a boyfriend named Mike who is Paul Rudd and they're gonna get married and she decides to change her name and she goes to the DMV and she finds out she could change it to whatever she wants. And so she decides to pick Princess Consuela Banana Hammock. And then her husband points out to her and he's like, do you even know what a banana hammock is? And I didn't know this until I watched the show, but apparently it's a Speedo, which she didn't know, obviously. Um, and then because it's such a poor choice of a name, he's like, okay, fine. I'm going to name myself Mike Crap Bag. Oh no, it's not even my crap bag, it's just crap bag. And then one of Phoebe's massage clients, they're at the coffee shop, so she walks in and she has to introduce her husband as crap bag, and then I think she like changes her name back, so um, that's why it says Princess Consuela Banana Hammock. Okay, huge fan of Friends. And then I got this which again is a friend's item Ooh, yeah this feels great this feels soft also it's lined so it's kind of like the baby yoda long sleeve shirt so these are sweatpants or joggers I don't know why they call them joggers and it just says friends so I wanted these I didn't realize they would be lined because um, I thought I could wear them year-round but this seems more of a winter product okay so I got it in M just because when I travel I like to wear baggy clothes um, just because it's looser and more comfortable. So I got these. And it's interesting because I thought it would be like a silk screen, but when you feel it, it's actually like a glued on felt piece of fabric. But interestingly enough, the dots are silk screened. Okay, so I have those pants. And then I got the matching top and they had these in like various colors like light gray or like this tie-dye color or this pastel not really tie-dye but pastel color and I was gonna get the pastel one and then I was worried that it would get dirty just because it was so light so I did end up going with black I got this, it came with the hoodie. I don't really like hoodies sometimes, especially because I wanted to use this for travel and I think it would make me sweat more, but I really wanted black. I figured worst case, I could somehow figure out how to cut it off, but I don't think I would ever do that because I never have. So this is more of a crop top, it seems, which, is fine I usually wear a t-shirt and then I have a sweatshirt and then I have a jacket just so I could layer and this is fairly thin which is nice if I were to try this to wear this in the summer and travel I would probably wear some sort of maybe tank top or a very sheer thin shirt just so that I wouldn't be so hot once I put this on over it. Okay, so those are all my Christmas gifts. Oh no, I have three more packages to open, I forgot, okay. So, I have this Christmas box and this is from my friend. It sounds very light, I have no clue what it is. 
One of these is my Christmas gifts, but I don't know which one. And it's taped. So let's open it. Okay. Oh no, there's more tape. Okay. There's some nice green tissue paper. I'm feeling it. It's in a box. I don't know. Let's see what it is. Oh, artisan chocolates. I don't know what kind. Oh, sea salt caramels. Encased in dandelion chocolate. I don't even know what is dandelion chocolate. Okay. Thank you. Very nice. This is such a nice box. I wonder if I peel off the sticker if I could reuse it. Let's try. <laughs> Recycle. Oh no. If I put another sticker on top, I could reuse it. Okay, I did a, a fairly good job. If I put another big sticker there, I could reuse the box. Let's see, okay. Let's open this next one. Oh my God, there's glitter. There's gonna be glitter everywhere. Amazing wrapping paper, super cute. It says Seasons Greetings with Christmas trees and the sparkly ribbon. Let's just cut the ribbon. Okay. There's gonna be like tinsel crumbs everywhere. Okay. Why does this sound like Legos or like some sort of puzzle. I could be totally wrong. Oh, it kind of is a Lego. never heard of CD blocks or the Little Dipper Coaster. I'm like, is this a real amusement park ride from somewhere? Interesting. Now I'm curious. Okay. I'm very excited to build this. I have no roller coaster set and I love how it's kind of like this monotone with a splash of color so even though it's a kid's toy it looks very adult nice very exciting thank you I'm gonna look this up. Is this like a real ride somewhere like in Coney Island or something? Okay. And then, the last gift, I think this is clothing and this is maybe, oh no. She told me that there's a bunch of little things in the big box. And she had asked me for my sizes before, so I think there's clothing in here and something else because it's super heavy. 
And this is also taped. Oh no, I hear it shifting around inside. This is so heavy. Okay. There's like a little flower for decoration. And then there's like one, two, three, four, five things in here. We're gonna open it from smallest to biggest. I think this is soap. It smells amazing. Such a cute ribbon and wrapping paper. I feel like there's glitter on my hands. Okay. Oh. It is soap. I don't want to touch it because then my hand will smell like this all day. It looks like handmade artisan soap. I've watched a million YouTube videos on like candle making and making soap. It smells like baby powder, okay? Thank you. And then, oh, I think this is also soap. more like flowers. Yeah. Very pretty. I wonder where she got this. I'm like, did she get it at Whole Foods or online? And then I love wrapping stuff like candy. It's so easy and fun. Okay. I'm like, is this a food item? I'm so glad I got this because I bought two of these on Amazon and I definitely put one somewhere. I think it's in my travel bag and I don't know where the other one is. So I definitely needed one of these. This is like a face spatula. So like when you dip it in like the face mask or the cream, you could like put it on your face without getting your hands dirty and getting around like your nose or your eyes with more precision. Um, I'm like, where should I put this tape? I'll put it right here. It says April skin. Okay. This is a good stocking stuffer if you ever need to buy something. Real Candelula, Calendula peel off pack. I don't know what Calendula is. Okay, but it is some sort of mask, which is great. Okay. And then, oh, there's more cute decorative flowers. 
And then this is some sort of t-shirt. I like how she wrapped it where it just covered like the, the special graphic part. What is this? Let's open it. Okay. Oh, it says October Girl. Nice. Very cute. This is because I was born in October. Okay. And then the last gift is from Nordstrom. Bensi. Okay. What is this? Kate Spade, New York. Oh, it must be a pajama set. It comes with an eye mask and it's a top and bottom long sleeve jogger and it says, cheers. I can see that because of that. Okay. All right, well, this video is so long. I will end here because I've opened all the gifts. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope to see you in the next one. I hope you have a great day. And, um, oh, happy holidays. Okay, thanks so much for watching. Bye.